aftermath of the hailstorm. Apparently, Fort Bit what worst hailstorm and or worst storms in 400 years. I said. Oh, we got it was a few broken branches. The watermelons got absolutely hammered on. The sweet corn is just well sweet corn. Um, that rock melon down there's got holes in his, in the everything, and there's a little baby rock melon there. I'll just show you in a sec. It's surprisingly if he survived after well being well after it being after it well being scuffled out on a piece of like say like a don't know not a like where's that this big piece of crust it it um it, it lifted up it had the little rock melon was sitting on the piece of crust and when we scuffled it the crust it broke up because it was really dry and then well the other the rock melon was sitting on that so we planted it back in and we're crossing the finger that it will survive and so this rock melon here has got the hole through the everything on the hail but it should survive somehow there's hail dents everywhere in the ground surprisingly I can see it like all up through there, all the way. Got a few leaves off, haven't they? Yeah, and all of these, uh, all of the baby new watermelons we planted, that one shredded. Well, you're probably thinking to yourself when you see these, why the hell are they so close together? So let's just say why these are so close apart. As well, because when I was planting, because I never planted watermelons before, this is my first time planting watermelons, is that, um, Dad, he made markings where he wanted the watermelons to go, because he didn't tell me, so I just planted watermelons through the everything. Just for like sweet corn, eh? Like, just picture this as sweet corn, but really close together. So what we're thinking with this is to transplant them more, or chip, or chip them out. Just got to thin some out, mate. That's all we got to do. And then the big watermelon bushes, well, they're... They're not that bad, they've got a few broken branches yeah, here and there. And here's the thing why they're so precious about these watermelons, is that we see the right there, that's a baby melon. And so we keep an all that pride and joy into these watermelons and make sure we get a good, well, watermelon crop. And here's the person I want you to meet if I can find them. Meet Big Boy. Well, he's, well, we call him Big Boy because he's the biggest watermelon we've seen. The bruises on him? And he's got a little bruise means he didn't chip by hail, but but th but this is going to be a big watermelon the way it's growing. So that one's got another bruise, but it won't worry him because they'll grow up and be big, strong watermelon. And of course, Bundy and Cole are standing in the background.